Hello everyone. It's a rainy day here in Florida, but guess what? It's a rainy day every day here in Florida for about two months, uh, starting from mid-May to maybe hmm, maybe the end of August. I mean, the end of July, mid-August, something like that. We get a lot of rain here, but it also keeps the temperatures down in the summer, also, and. Um, and it keeps the weather cooler too. We have like between 80 to 90 degrees in the summer. So uh, it doesn't get that hot and, hot and muggy here. Not like it did in Virginia. But anyhow, um, I have a haul that I wanted to share with you. Let me get a drink of my drink here. I love these naked drinks. They are so good. Okay, but anyhow, I went to Joann's, and I have a wish haul, and there's not a whole lot in either, so this is going to be a quick video. Alright, so for wish, I haven't taken it out of the package yet, and I haven't tried it out, but this is a car adapter for cell phones, iPods, or whatever. Oh, I thought I heard someone pull up my driveway. But anyhow, this is what it looks like, and it's really nice. I love the color gold. I really do. I love that color. And it has two adapters, um, outlets on it. And like I said, I haven't tried it out yet. See, it pushes in. But it looks like it's made really well. I mean, I don't see anything wrong here. It says input DC 12 uh, to 24 volt, output DC 5.0 volt. So, another Wish app. And I paid, uh, I thought I had uh, all of the prices up on my, up on my uh, email. Because I keep all my emails until everything comes in, so if there's a problem, and I can go right to it. All right, let me get it pulled up here. I thought I had it ready for you. Okay, I'm oh, I paid $1. Next, I ordered these uh, plastic, well, they're like safety pins, but they're called, um, these are stitch markers, and that's what they look like. They're like little safety pins. Let me find them on here. Uh, Okay, so I got 50 of these. I haven't actually counted them, but I'm, I'm trusting that they're 50 or close as close to 50 as possible. So, I got these for free, and I paid the shipping. I paid $2 for 50 of these stitch markers. So that's a pretty good deal. And what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to be getting some more. But what I'm going to be doing with these stitch markers is they're going into the crochet knitting um, kit. Like my sewing kit I'm going to do. Okay, so the next thing I got was this beautiful ribbon. I was so excited when I saw this. It is so cute. Now, who does not like elephants? Let me tell you what. Let me get back to where my ordering uh, details are. But who does not like little elephants? It is so cute. And I think I got this for free and all I did was pay for shipping on it. Uh, I got six yards of this beautiful, cute little ribbon. So I'm going to go in here, see what my order details are, and I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure I got this for free. No, I did pay $2 for this, for 5 yards, 6 yards, 5 yards, it's 7 8 inch wide, and the shipping on it I paid one, okay, so $1, so I paid $3 for 5 yards of 7 8 uh, wide ribbon. Now. You cannot go wrong with that. That is a really great, fantastic deal. So, 
It is so cute though. You need to really order some. When I saw this, I just, oh, I just fell in love with it. Now, what did I just do with my rubber band I just had? I do not see my little rubber band. Where did I put? Oh, there it is. I found it. And it came in a, um, a bag, a little baggie, and it was wrapped with this rubber band. So it was, and it was shipped in a, all of these items, everything I have ordered so far have been shipped in um, a padded envelopes. So anyhow, there you go. So cute, you've got to get some. Okay, so the next thing I got was this beautiful, beautiful, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? I think I got about a yard of this. Let's see, arms length. Yeah, I got about a yard. So let me see what they say. Yes, one yard. But there's beads in between each gold bead. I just now noticed that. I don't know why I didn't notice it before. Okay, for one yard, I paid a dollar. And for shipping, I paid, all right, so two dollars $2 for one yard of this. Isn't that just gorgeous? And um, let me see, if you buy it, can you buy a more than one yard increment? I clicked on buy to see what it does. Yes, you can order up to 15 yards. So, I've got a feeling. So, 15 yards, that means I'll be paying $15 plus shipping. So, I've got a feeling that I'm going to be ordering some more of this because it is so cute. Um, I have some 18 inch doll patterns for gothic items, and this would look really nice with that. Okay, so I think that is all the wish stuff that I got right now I will be getting more <laughs> look this out you ought to see me I'm supposed to be in the bed trying to go to sleep right no I'm on the app uh, I'm on the wish app <laughs> my husband doesn't know that though okay uh, but he knows it when it comes in he says uh, more packages I said yeah and I explained to him what it is because he doesn't understand why it's all in little individual packages and I says well it's something like eBay and it is let me tell you a little bit about the wish up I don't know if I've done this before or not but uh, it is sort of like eBay but you don't auction on it you just buy it straight out um, the only thing that's the same thing is there's different um, companies that go on here and they uh, sell their stuff so and it's all from China every bit of it's from China but I think the wish company is out of California I think I saw that as their home address so and refunds whenever I go for a refund um, because a product is damaged or whatever within 24 hours I've got my refund back into my debit card or checking a uh, credit card whatever card I used so that is good um, I think they they take PayPal and all major credit cards and debit cards so alrighty well let's go ahead and get to Joann's I didn't get a lot there but today was the last day today is June 3rd Today's the last day that they had their ribbons, you know, the uh, whole spool ribbons um, that's usually on that wall where you get all your ribbon. I'm trying to get to the ribbons part first. Okay, here we go. And this one I wasn't sure that it was going to ring up if I want to get one but it did it's Shopkins and my granddaughters both of my granddaughters love Shopkins okay so
Okay, so they were like five ninety nine. Let's say six dollars. So I paid. I'm gonna, you know, because they're half price anyhow. If you're buying uh, one and get one free, so let's say three dollars each for the Shopkins. So I got this one. It says I love Shopkins. This is seven eighth inch wide uh, with nine feet on it and that's what the top looks like. And then I got this other Shopkins. Um, yep. Okay, I want to make sure I had it the right direction. See? That is so cute. So, I've got some Shopkins fabric, and now I've got the ribbon, so that makes me happy. All right, this one right here is 5 8 inches wide with 9 feet on it, and it came up at $3.99. So let's say four dollars. I pay two dollars for that, um, or at least I should have gotten it. Mm. I think something. I think I was supposed to have gotten two of these to get it. I don't know. I don't know. Well, anyhow, I'm just going to take you through what the retail price of these are because by the time you get to Joanne's probably and this video gets uploaded, then um, the sale is going to be over. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So there, there's the peach. So this was 5 eighths wide, 9 feet on it, and it was $3.99. So the next item, Rose Garden. Where's that? Is this Rose Garden? No. Maybe it's this one here. Yes. Okay, this is called Rose Garden. Isn't that really pretty? Look at that. Look how pretty that ribbon is. This is 5 8 inch wide with 9 feet on it. This was $3.99. And I got, I got three of them because I, they didn't have another peach one like this bottom one. So I got this because they said buy one and get one. So I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. But anyhow. Um, okay. And then let me make sure this is the right number. Yeah, it is. Okay. And then I got these look at that pink flamingos and when I saw that I thought of Florida because of course that's where I live and this is $5.99 and it's 7 8 inches wide with 9 feet on it so I got two of them because I loved them so well and there's only two left anyhow and then I got what's called Liberty this is 5 8 inches wide with 9 feet. It's called Pink Liberty. Is it that pretty? Now that's going to look pretty on the dresses that I make for Africa. It's going to look really pretty for the ties. Okay, so then that is it for my ribbons. Now I will get, oh, I almost forgot. They had quilters. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I did have another peach one. All right, I thought I did. Okay, but anyhow, they had the quilters uh, squared. Well, the quilters, what do they call it? Um, you get 30 squares on this one I got. And they're five by five. And I saw the neatest video to make drawstring bags on this uh, YouTube uh, channel that I'm subscribed to. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to get me some. So these are regularly $7.99. So I paid, let's say, $4 a piece for these. And I thought they looked really pretty together. So I got that. That was buy one to get one. And then I got, yep, I had to get me some patterns. You know me and my patterns. I got to get my patterns. Butterick was $1.99. I don't need the receipt for this one. Uh, but let me think. Where is it? 
Oh, there it is. But one of the patterns I got, I already picked out the fabric today to make the dress because a long time ago, I don't know if you, oh, from the Wish Up, I forgot about this. Oh. All right, let me see here. Okay, it says this is 15 centimeters by nine meters. I have no idea what the measurements for that is. They have different colors. They have white, ivory, black, light pink, light blue. And I got the light pink. It is so pretty. Look at that lace wood. But anyhow, so that was for free. And the shipping on that was only $3. All right, to get back to Joanne's. I'm sorry about that. Um, I made this jacket a long time ago. And I have been wanting to find... Let me see if I can move this back a little bit so I can show you this jacket. I've been looking for um, some fabric to make a dress to go with this. This is my first jacket that I've ever made. And it was a lot easier than I thought. And I even did the lining. Look, look at this thing. I did the lining. Doesn't that look good for a beginner? So anyhow. <laughs> anyhow. So I got this pattern. And I'm going to make this dress right here. And I'm going to make it out of this fabric. So... So this jacket, to go with this fabric, that's going to look nice together. You can't see it very well. But that's going to look nice. Look at that. So, I was looking at, I was cleaning out my closet uh, yesterday, and I saw this jacket and I said, oh, that's right. I need to get some fabric to make that dress. So I remembered I was going to Joanne's today. So I says, okay, well, I'll go ahead and get it today. All right, so anyhow, Butterick was $1.99. Let me move you a little bit closer to me now. All right. So this is Butterick, 6448. And uh, it says close uh, fitting through bust. It has, oh, it has a lined bodice. I didn't know that. It also has princess seams. And princess seams, what that means is, you see these lines right here on each side of her bodice and then down the skirt? That's what's called princess seams. And I think you need a zipper for this. Yeah, you do. So you need a zipper. And you need a, uh, da, 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 da. where's the notions? You need a 22 inch zipper and a hook and an eye. So this is going to be one of those easy dresses to make. So I'll be making that maybe this week. I don't know. All right. I tell you what, I'm getting hooked on Gertie uh, patterns. But I'm very particular about which ones I make because I don't like some of her patterns because I don't like showing my cleavage. So anyhow, I got this one, 6284. I love this dress. So, with this one, you need a 20-inch zipper. And I did not get any fabric for this today because I was thinking a taffeta would look nice. And because it says I can use broadcloth, taffeta, chalice, and satin. I don't want to use satin, and chalice I'm not too sure about, but the taffeta would really be pretty. So, um, I'm going to look on fabrics.com and see what I can find because see I need five yards of this material to make this dress um, unless I don't make the skirt so full okay so that was a dollar ninety nine and then with my new car that I told you about I saw this and I want to make this right there and I want to make that and um, I'm thinking about making this to go on the back of the seat. I'm not sure. On the back of the passenger seat. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to make that yet or not. But anyhow, that'll put some real pretty color in my car because my car inside is black. I do not like black on the inside of cars or outside of cars. But um, I can put some pretty colors inside the car to make it look nice. Then I found these two patterns. They're really cute and they're little dresses for Africa girls because these don't have any zippers. One has a button, but that's fine. And, um, you know, they're like pullover dresses and that's what you need to make for them over there. So anyhow, this is a McCall C and So. These were $2.99. And so I'm going to make that dress right there. I'm not going to do that. Well, I might decide maybe to make that dress. That's not too bad. Um, but I, I definitely want to make this for them. And this is what the dress on the uh, back side looks like. This is... This is view A without the ruffle, and they both look the same to me, but that's the front, and that's the back. This is view B with the ruffle, and that's the, that's the front, and that's the back. So real easy to make. Then I found another dress for the girls. Now see, I don't know if it would be all right to make uh, pants sets for them, like capri sets or whatever, but I got this pattern, and I'm going to get in touch with the lady that's uh, in charge of this uh, missionary, and I'm going to ask her, is it okay for the girls to wear pants, the little girls to wear pants, um, or capris? So anyhow, I got this pattern. I thought it was real cute. And all you need is one button to hook in the back and then the two buttons to go down the front of the shirt as you see right here and right here. And on the back, this is what it looks like. The pants are elastic. This is the dress here. That's the front, that's the back. And then this is the front and that's the back of the shirt. So I just thought that was so cute. And then I noticed that on the bottom of the little girl's shirt, it's got little trim. And I just think that's adorable. So I got that for them. I need to start making some things for them because I haven't done it in a while and um, I need to get a package sent off to them. Um, I had a 50% off one item and a 40% off coupon total purchase. So I used both coupons today. But anyhow, um, I used the 50% off coupon on these right here. These were $4.99, excuse me, and I ended up paying, um, let's say, well, let's see, $4.99, let's say $2.50 for these. And uh, what they are is they're Schmetz Universal Needles. And universal, what that means is you can use it on um, any kind of a machine. You can use it uh, with... Um, polyester thread, cotton thread, cotton polyester, you know, so forth. Um, you can't use it with metallics or um, embroidery threads or whatever, but you can use it with basic sewing, like if you're going to make a stress or if you're going to um, make a pillowcase or whatever you're going to do. That's basically what universal means. And so I got a number size 8 needle. And the number eight size needle is for a very sheer fabric. And um, I was making something with um, organza and uh, I ran out of my needles. And so I guess that's it. I think I covered everything. All right, well you have a good day or good night whenever you're watching this. Please subscribe and click the like channel. Bye bye for now.